Uh, welcome to LikeHummingFootball.com. Uh, this is week number nine, which is uh, Lycoming's eighth game of the yep. year, heading for Misericordia. Just a, a quick note on the uh, Widener game, Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Uh, in fact, the last two games, the sure. meat, meat of the battle for the season, yep. it, it reminds me of a uh, track meet where the hurdlers hit the first thing they had to go over just tipped it on the top and it kind of threw them out for the rest of the yeah game. i mean is that is that, is that uh, an analogy that works or this is probably not a bad one john we certainly didn't clear the hurdles so uh well, you know you up and yeah. didn't finish on top right yeah no look i mean we, we played uh, some very good teams obviously widener's very good del is very good and it'd be interesting to see how that one plays out uh the rest of this year but i think there's some really good teams in our league i think we're one of them and unfortunately the last two weeks we haven't played or coached well enough to uh to be where we'd like to be at this point i know uh sometimes you get a uh a off week after a, a, a loss like that mm -hmm. uh misericordia is not uh not that bad they're still uh can throw a good game at us. I think last year or two years ago mm -hmm. over there, uh, it was a tough game uh, with them. But uh, it's a big uh, game for Lycoming because it would be the uh, fifth straight year you've had a winning uh, season. That's that's something to shoot for. No, it is, John. Look, we, we'd like to finish 8-2 and two this year. You know, um, I don't know if we can. Um, but if we want to, we better win this weekend. So uh, still some really good teams left. You know, Misericordia uh, will continue to battle. Uh, coach Ross is an outstanding football coach. He'll have his kids ready to play. Um, you, you know, and we've got some other good teams uh, down the line. Lebanon Valley's won a couple in a row. So, we, you know, look, we've got to put the past in the past and, and just do our best to hope that, uh, you know, we can find some ways to, to win some games to close out the year. Uh, on some bright spots, uh, uh, Ryan Umpleby from uh, Forest Hills, Maryland, I believe. Uh, uh, great game, 14 catches. Uh, he's he's turning in to be a great receiver. Uh, he, look, he's been a good player since his freshman year, but I think you know the best ones. John uh, produce against everybody, and and uh, the last two weeks, Ryan Umpleby's been pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah, 14 catches and 200 and some yards. Uh, yeah, probably over 300 in the last person, two weeks. The third person to do that, uh, you're talking about people like uh, Ricky Linetti mm -hmm. and uh, Ryan Wagelman. Yeah, I think. Look, I, I mean, he may not be the he's he might not be the best wide out in the league, but Ryan Umpleby would start for everybody in our conference. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you go to running back uh, Craig Needhammer. Mm -hmm. I, I think he was injured, but still played in that game uh, Saturday. And yeah, Craig's probably was probably dealing with a little something. But you know what, John? All of our guys are, and, and uh, Craig's not going to miss any games. Yeah. Yep. And he uh, he uh, still, uh, I guess, broke the all-purpose. Uh, he did mark for like coming. Collins, he did. Uh, he did it, uh, in terms of all-purpose yardage, yeah. uh, which I you know we talked about yesterday. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to speak about that after the game's kind of lost in the disappointment of the game but uh you know really did a nice job and and you know if you can say you've gained more yards from scrimmage here than anybody yeah that's a pretty good career i mean that guy yeah kid's a hell of a uh, heck of a football player uh i know we were in practice last week and you said to uh, mike gentilly mm -hmm. uh uh looking for an interception against uh uh, Seth Klein, yep. and he he actually uh, got one. Uh, he in did. The quarter. No, he did. And, yep. And that, that could have been a swing for the the like coming team. No, I mean, look, it gave us a temporary boost, and you know, unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Um, they you, you know, came we right made back uh, they, rather quickly. Well, they did. I mean, look, John, we made too many mistakes last week against a very good team. I mean, I said it before the game, and you know, I'll say it again after the game that Widener is a very good football team. You know, um, we didn't play well enough to beat them, but you, you know, it. It is what it is, right? Um, you know, we think we're a good team too, and uh, unfortunately, didn't play well enough to, to beat them. So, um, you know, short of any miracles, it will be finished in three weeks. Well, it's another day game. Uh, at least you're traveling the same day you're playing over Misericordia mm -hmm. around Dallas. Yep. PA uh, uh, can be tough. Uh, uh, the team spirit, how is that? Well, John, if I. It, I'd be lying if I told you we were flying high, but uh, but but you know what? We're going to find Character, a way. You got a rebound. Uh, uh, listen, absolutely yeah. no. Look, that I, was I, last week. I love our kids. I love our team, and and look, I, I wouldn't trade them. I, I I mean that. Um, you know, would we like to be in some other places? Sure, but the reality is, where isn't these seniors are going to be the winningest group we've had around here in a long time uh, if we win out, and so we're going to do everything in our power to to win these last couple of football games. I think that's a one o'clock game. 
I think so too. Yeah, and, yeah I'm pretty uh, sure. And uh, weather will be a little different, windy and about 40 some degrees. Uh, there, it was 77 yesterday. I'm going to wear shorts. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll uh, thanks for talking to, to us. We'll see you over there Saturday and uh, uh, best of luck. Nah, John, I appreciate you being here and everything you do for us. And I know most of the schools in the league appreciate it too. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, John. Thanks. This has been a production of LycomingFootball.com.